Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with another reading here for you, your Love and Life series for the first half of June from the 1st through the 15th. Before we dive into your actual reading, I just had some announcements I wanted to get out of the way before we officially begin your reading. So if you'd like to skip ahead to the beginning of the reading, you're more than welcome to do so. I'll go ahead and timestamp it down below. But before I begin, I just wanted to talk about how for my channel, I'm going to be changing things up a little bit. Um, I've just been so super swamped, not only with posting content on my channel consistently, and if you're a regular to my channel, you'll know that there's always content up every day or so, every other day, or as often as I can post videos for all zodiacs. And on top of doing personal private readings and just living my personal life, it's just really gotten to be a bit much. So starting this month of June, I'm going to be doing my Love and Life series first half of the month as well as the second half of the month like I have done for years now. This is something that I've done really from the very beginning of my channel. And so I'm going to continue to do that, and I'm going to go back to my format of posting bonus readings for the top three signs based off of the most viewed video for the first half and second half of the month. And of course, if time permits, I'll go ahead and do some other readings in between those two time frames. All right, guys, so it, unfortunately, just, you know, there's just one of me, and on top of just living life with my family and we've got a new grandbaby and everything's just so super swamped. I mean, I wish I had more than 24 hours in a day to be able to fit everything in, but this is me just kind of prioritizing everything, still being able to consistently post on my channel, but also living my best life also off camera. And um, so for those who have requested personal private readings, of course, that continues to be a priority. And um, so you don't have to worry about that. That will always be taken care of for those who do purchase readings. But as far as the content that I'll be posting on YouTube, we're going to go back to the original format of Love and Life series first half and second half of the month, and then whatever readings I can fit in between. So yeah, bonus readings will be top three. So if you want to be in the top three of those bonus readings, definitely tune in first and second half of the month. And if you're able to relate to the storylines that come through, then, you know, with enough people that are liking, sharing, and subscribing, then of course, your sign will be one of the top three bonus readings. All right, guys. So just wanted to get that out of the way. And also, for those who are interested in any of my decks, I'm going to be posting for sale items on my Instagram page. So definitely follow me there. And I'm planning on putting a couple of my other decks on sale for the month of June. Um, I believe one of them will be my Modern Day Seers Tarot and Oracle. So if that's one of the decks that you've been keeping an eye on, it's going to be on sale starting June 1st, which by the time I post this video will probably be around June 1st. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. So let's go ahead and begin your reading. All right, Virgo, so let's begin your love and life reading for the first half of June from the 1st through the 15th, general as always, starting with these three decks here. The first one is my own, the Love and Life Oracle deck. It's got two messages per card, and it basically takes a look at how we perceive love when we first fall into it with someone and how life affects it as more time unfolds, how it affects the love connection. And then we'll go ahead and grab a card each from the Twin Flame Love series decks. This one focused on the masculine. This is the Divine Feminine version by Kim Montalto. And of course, I'll include a link to all of the decks that you do see here today, Virgo. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and take a look and see the direction that this is all going to unfold for you for the first half of June. Starting with the Love and Life deck for this Love and Life reading. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. What is the first card? I'm guided to this one. The love message. Yes, please. The life message. No, thank you. So what I get from this, Virgo, is there was perhaps something about the connection or even life in general where you were more open to certain things, more open to certain experiences, 
But as time unfolded, perhaps through maturity, and as more time unfolded in your love connection as well as your life, there are certain aspects and lessons that perhaps you've learned where you're not so open to those things. There are certain life lessons that you've learned where you're not willing to accept certain behaviors from people, perhaps, whether that has anything to do with your love life or just how people are with you overall. So let's go ahead and add to that. Let's see what else needs to come through. So let's first grab a card on behalf of the masculine from this deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo and love and life. Where is the masculine at on this journey? I'm guided to this card. Children could be in the mix. All right, so either you and your masculine already have children, or there are children from previous relationships. Okay, this could also represent future children that you end up having together. All right, so let's go ahead and add to this from the Divine Feminine. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. So through that love and life message, there are perhaps certain things that you're no longer as open to as you were before. So we'll have to see how that message plays a part in the messages here. So I'm guided to this one here. They are contacting you real soon. So we have a divine masculine here that will be reaching out to you, divine feminine. However way that form of communication comes in, it could be a text, it could be a phone call, they might reach out on social media, they might come by to visit you, however way this presents itself, okay? Now for those of you two who have children together and maybe you're estranged from each other, it could be that they contact you having something to do with your children. Take that if it applies. All right, so let's go ahead and add to this. I'm going to first grab some cards from this deck by Sister Moon Tarot, the Twin Flame Current Vibes deck. And I know that we've got quite a few card decks featured here with the name Twin Flame. If you don't feel that you're on a Twin Flame journey, of course, you don't have to accept that label. It can be any type of connection, soulmate, however way you see your person. All right, Virgo, so love and life, first half of June. What else do we need to know here? What additional messages need to come through? We do have releasing. I am detaching with love. And I kind of get that considering this love and life message. Life message, no thank you. Okay, so there's something really that you are kind of severing ties with. Whether it's a person, whether it is an experience, whatever it is, you're letting something go. Something or someone but we do have missing you. You are the missing piece in my life. So what I'm getting here, Virgo, is whoever it is that you detached from and you're no longer a part of their life, they're thinking about you. They miss you. There's this void. There's this emptiness that they feel because you're not there. Look at this next message. You are my wish. I wish to be where you are. I wish to be with you. So... The Divine Feminine message, they are contacting you real soon. I have a feeling here we have a masculine who, as it's clearly stated, they're going to be reaching out to you somehow, Divine Feminine. They want to be where you are. They are wishing for your presence here. Look at the next message. Clearing the air. Okay, this card reads, I wish we could talk about everything. So there's this need to clear whatever grievances or issues you guys might have been dealing with. And this is something I feel that this masculine definitely wants to take care of when it comes to the connection with the feminine. And I'm also getting for some of my feminines that maybe you were more accommodating with your masculine than like in the beginning than you are now. You know, maybe when they reached out to you before or whenever they would call you or text you, you were always available. It's like, oh, yes, please, because I love you. But now that things have maybe shifted and changed, you're not so accommodating. You know, life has stepped in. You've grown. You've learned. 
and now here you are possibly saying, you know what, no thank you. So it's really up to you, I feel, Divine Feminine, if you're even open to clearing the air with your masculine. But I am picking up here that that's what it is that they would want to do. They miss you, they think about you, they, as it says, I wish to be where you are, I wish to be with you. Maybe that's why they, they feel the need to clear the air, because they maybe know that they messed up, they did something to upset you. They want to be able to clear things up with you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some additional insight from my Silhouettes deck here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. What else do we need to know when it comes to love, certainly, and life? All right, got a few cards coming through. We do have breakfast in bed. Maybe this is something that they're missing, being able to wake up next to you, being that you're the first person they see in the morning. Breakfast in bed could have been something that you guys really enjoyed spending time together. The card does say the best way to spend the day after a passionate night of love making. Okay, so take that if it applies for your situation. We do have stepping stones, which also makes a whole lot of sense here because the message here says, learn from your past mistakes to avoid life's pitfalls and thunderstorms. Until you do, tread lightly. The wrong step might land you in deep water. That's why this message is right here. It started off as you being so incredibly available and open to whoever came your way. You just wanted to I just keep getting that you were more accommodating back then, but you've learned. You've made mistakes in the past and you've learned. And so now you you really have learned to say no. We have nightfall. So something about the nighttime that's coming through here because it came through from the breakfast in bed card, the best way to spend the night or spend the day after a passionate night of lovemaking. And then we've got the nightfall coming through here again. There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you're with me. Okay, so something about nighttime when you guys were together, possibly the spending intimate moments together. And as long as you guys were in each other's company, you were content, you were happy. Maybe they were as well. But there is a reason why we have someone here who wants to clear the air with you. We have glitter. You leave a trail of sparkle wherever you go. What I'm getting from this, Virgo, is whoever it is that you are thinking about for this reading, this is how they see you, like that glitter, that sparkle, that perhaps energy that you bring into a room when you walk into it. You shine. You shine bright. You make people happy. And even after you leave, your energy still lingers. It's there, which is why they're missing it. Because you represent that missing piece in their life. And that trail of sparkle that you have left behind, it's still there. This could have been the challenge right here. Look at that. Temptations. Not everything you see is meant for you to have. This can represent infidelities. This can represent third-party situations and affairs. This is a challenge right here. But I'm also getting with this next card, Climb, and it does say the, the daily grind won't stop until you manifest that dream. Whoever was tempted by another outside of an existing partnership, Virgo, they're not ever going to stop climbing this mountain to be able to manifest their dream of being with you again. That is what I'm getting from that. They know perhaps that they were tempted by someone else. This breakfast in bed could have been the fact that they spent the night with someone else, waking up to be with another person, breakfast in bed, the whole, the whole experience, you know. But if it wasn't with you, then it was with someone else. Temptations. But I'm also feeling that whatever those temptations were or are, that it was short-lived. So this could have been a learning experience for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot. 
I'm going to pull from my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle. Tarot with a twist. And if you're if you're interested in this deck, if you're familiar with this one, it is on sale the entire month of June. So the deck shop link is down below. So this particular deck right here, I've created it for advanced beginners who would like to learn how to read tarot. The majority of the cards from this deck, it's got reversed and upright meanings. So it's really super easy to learn them. The twist here is that it includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards. So while you're learning, it also challenges you. So if you like a challenge, this is definitely the beginner's deck for you. All right, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. Well, we're starting off with Archangel Shamuel. I am the angel of peaceful relationships. I can help bring the right person into your life, your ideal mate. I can help you become closer with your current partner. I can help you heal any conflicts in your relationships, attract new love, and strengthen your existing connections. If you crave intimacy in your life, I can assist with that too. And obviously we've had references to intimate moments, physical connection already. But if you're in separation from somebody that you love and they love you and they, you know, somebody messed up here, there could have been infidelities in the partnership. Archangel Shamuel is here to heal this connection and restore peace, bring peace back. And look what's up next. You've got the sun. Beautiful. Happiness. Warmth, fun, fulfillment, positive vibes. This is a very successful union here, but this can also apply to other areas of your life, Virgo. You could be successful in your career. This is also tapped into your vitality, your wellness, your health, unions, marriages, relationships, celebrations. This is happiness right here. You can restore that happiness, perhaps with this person that you are in separation from. But I feel that Archangel Shamuel is here for a reason. Because you guys need a little bit of help in that area. This is your own earth energy right here with that four of pentacles. So this is scarcity. This is perhaps you're being a little bit frugal with your finances right now. This could also represent someone who's a little bit stingy or even greedy with their money. That could be you, but it could also be someone that you're dealing with. You could also be interacting with someone or interacted in the past with someone who was the jealous type or even try to control you, your actions, holding on to you as if you were a possession. And therefore, I kind of feel with this releasing energy that you didn't want to be treated that way. You're not a possession. You're a person. You belong to yourself. So you could have certainly been dealing with an individual who had some issues from prior relationships. You yourself could have your own fair share of issues, but those are those things that you need to handle on your own and your person needs to be able to handle their own business, you know? But this is a connection. We've got the judgment card coming through here that can come back. There's a transition that's reflected in this energy of the judgment card. It's really reevaluating the past and what did not work. And really going back to this card right here, the stepping stones, you know, learning from past mistakes. That was really important here. Somebody wants to apologize. Someone wants forgiveness. You are the missing piece in their life. They miss you. They think about you. They want that reunion. They want that reunion. We also have the angel of mercy coming in. Life has brought you down to your knees. The universe shows you mercy. The love you've been searching for, yearning for, has eluded you thus far. I'm here to let you know that it's time to rise, to get back up, claim your ascension within your own life to help you take that first step towards a brighter future. 
And here's that bright future right here with that sun. So either you come back into union with someone that you're thinking about, that you're missing, someone that you could have had to release and let go of, and Archangel Shamuel is here to restore the peace. Or you've got the Angel of Mercy here to help you move forward to claim that brighter future. And for some of you, in order to get that to happen, you've had to move on and find love elsewhere to be able to restore peace in your own heart for yourself. And I love how we've got the Three of Wands coming in also. This is about the future right here. Planning for the future. Looking ahead. You're no longer stagnant. You're moving. You're focusing on where you can ultimately be in the future. Getting to a place where you're happy with your life. Happy with the choices that you have made. For some of you, this can reflect off of a long-distance romance. So you might end up meeting someone that lives a good distance from you. Could be different countries or states apart or even cities apart. There's distance here. So take that if it applies. Or because you guys are in separation and maybe moved away from each other and rekindling the partnership and the romance, this can, as it says, be a long-distance romance. But it's also representing two people who can find their way back to each other with Archangel Shamuel and the Angel of Mercy helping you guys out in however way perhaps you need it right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here, Virgo, and let's start with the Divine Masculine. So I'm going to pull from my Voices deck. That's the Volume 1 version. And then here's the Voices 2, Volume 2, focused on the Divine Feminine. Okay, so starting with the masculine here. What does the masculine have to say to the feminine at this time? All right, so let's see. Whoever represents the masculine energy in this partnership, who needs to speak up here? Representing the masculine. Okay. How did I get so lucky to be blessed with a love like yours? And they recognize that. But I also get for some of you that distance and separation needed to happen for this realization to occur. Which is why they miss you so much. Because you had to release. You detached with love, as it says. And they only realized after you left their life, maybe, Virgo, how lucky they were to have even been blessed with your presence. There are no words left to say. We've said everything we needed to, but why is it so hard to say goodbye? So maybe the last time you guys spoke, you got everything off your chest, you said what you needed to say, they said what they needed to say, but it's still so difficult to let you go. It was not easy for them to say goodbye to you. And maybe it wasn't easy for you to say goodbye to them either. Look at this. All I need to move on is for you to tell me that you forgive me for hurting you. So we have a masculine here who's taking responsibility for their role in hurting the feminine. So remember, we've got the judgment card right here. Somebody, in this case, the masculine, wants forgiveness. Yeah, because they have learned from their past mistakes also. You're not the only one suffering through this emptiness, pain, and distance between us. They want you to know, Divine Feminine, that they're suffering too, that they are hurting too. These messages. You know we had to go our separate ways, but you'll forever be a part of my heart. No matter what, Divine Feminine. You will always be a part of this Divine Masculine's heart, even if you guys don't ever find your way back to each other. You've made an impact in their life. Remember, you represent that glitter, that trail of sparkle, no matter where you go. And they feel it. They also feel that something's missing in their life because you're not in it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some cards on behalf of the Divine Feminine. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. 
what else needs to come through at this time. So Divine Feminine, what do you want to say to your masculine? We can't fix what's broken if we don't talk this out. Yeah, it takes communication. And that communication, Divine Feminine, as we already know, it's on its way. They are contacting you real soon. And you're also letting your masculine know that no matter what, you will always love them. Something about the very first time that you guys met, you took my breath away the very first time I saw you. Let's see what else. It's been so long since we've seen each other. I miss you so damn much. Do you miss me too? You guys miss each other. Yeah. You guys miss each other. Hmm. Let's grab one more message from the feminine here. I found myself when I found you. Look at that. So maybe there was a part of you, Divine Feminine, that was feeling a little bit lost. Maybe you didn't have a sense of direction before you met this masculine. And they really helped you feel this way, that you found yourself. You found your voice. You found your identity once again. Once you found this masculine, the love that you guys shared. But clearly there have been some challenges here, which is why you guys need to talk and clear the air. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the physical connection here between you and your person. So Virgo, I'm going to pull from my Sugar and Spice Oracle, a little naughty, a little nice. This is a deck that definitely contains sexual innuendos in here, sexual content. If you don't want to watch this portion of the reading, of course you don't have to. You can fast forward through the next section. All right, angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. When it comes to the intimacy, the physical connection, the sexual chemistry. Where are you guys at? Angels and spirit guides, please. We've got sour cream. Okay, so this card says, our relationship was nothing short of perfect when we first decided to become more than friends. We couldn't get enough of each other. You were a part of my thoughts 24-7. But like the saying goes, some... Sometimes all good things have to come to an end. I'm sorry for my role in turning things sour between us, but I'll cherish the sweet memories forever. Yeah, something definitely went sour here. Something was not working. And then we have turmeric here, which is your own earth energy Virgo. For some of you, you could also be focused on another Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. Maybe your person has earth in their chart also. So the message here reads, I have a vibrant outlook on love. I may be a bit shy or standoffish at first, but when you get to know me, I'm pretty down to earth and can occasionally be a social butterfly. I've been burned before, so I sometimes hold a grudge and have bitter memories of the past. I'm ready to let it go and concentrate on the future, you and me. So that could also be, if you relate to this, what it is that you're releasing. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. Can't do anything about it at this point. And all you can do is focus on the now, healing whatever happened in the past, and concentrating on the future, as it says. Okay? We also have cantaloupe coming through here. Commitment in a relationship is a very important step. I've always pictured us getting married someday, the kind you see in fairy tales. But sometimes making fairy tales come true can be a little expensive. As long as I can spend my life with you, I'm cool. Let's elope instead and go on a kick-ass vacation. You guys might have even talked about this. So remember, Virgo, you have the four of pentacles this is someone who could be a little bit frugal okay just saving money just operating perhaps from just a place of fear i'm feeling you know a little bit apprehensive to spend because this person or maybe you you've worked hard for your money and you don't want to just spend it frivolously that's kind of what i'm getting here it's like if we can't afford our dream wedding then let's just elope and have an amazing vacation Okay, so let's grab one more here for Virgo. Angels and spirit guides. 
We've got poppy seeds. Okay. You're like a drug. I feel so high when I'm with you. I feel it in my bones. Your presence, your smile, your laughter, your beauty, the joy you bring. You make me better, happier, stronger. Without you, I'm going to need therapy because I can't function unless you're in my life. That's how they're feeling. That is what's coming through. I mean, those intimate moments are pretty amazing. Yes, it's strong. But what you bring, what you contributed to this person's life was so much more than just the physical aspect of things. Otherwise, they could just fill it with another body. You know, that's not what this is about. They love you. They care for you. They feel that emptiness in their life because you represent that missing piece. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some healing messages here. Virgo, I'm going to pull from this deck right here. So let's go ahead and see what your angels need you to know right now as far as helping you to heal in however way you need it. Not just necessarily about your love life either, okay? Because for some of you, perhaps there's a physical healing or ailment that needs to be addressed. Let's see. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo, for this love and life reading for the first half of June. What needs to come through here to help Virgo heal? First of all, you've got the support of your angels, your spirit guides, the universe, friends, family. You're not alone on this journey. If you have turned to prayer, your angel guides want you to know that your prayers have been heard, first of all, and that your prayers will be answered. It's important to note, though, that sometimes when our prayers are answered, it manifests itself in a very different way from what we had envisioned. So just be a little bit flexible and keep an open mind as to how this is going to play out. Look at this, guys. We've got children coming up again. From the Divine Masculine message, right from the very beginning, it does say children could be in the mix. So those of you who have children together or already have children from previous relationships, they play a significant role in this connection here. The family dynamic, and I have a card flying all the way across the room. Hold on. <laughs> Let me grab it. Oh my gosh. We do have retreat here, okay? Releasing and retreat. A couple of meanings here for me. So retreat could be that you're backing away from a situation, releasing yourself, detaching from a situation, a person. Now, this can apply to a person, a romantic partner, or it could even be, for example, a job that you hate backing away from it, going in a different direction. So whatever it is that you might be feeling that it's the end of the road when it comes to that particular situation, you're being directed to retreat from it and back away from it. Another interpretation of this could simply mean going on a retreat, going on a vacation. We already have the reference to this kick-ass vacation right here from the cantaloupe card. Let's elope instead and go on a kick-ass vacation. That could be what it is that you need right now to just have some alone time, some downtime to relax, to recuperate in however way you need that to happen. What else for Virgo, please? Angels and spirit guides. Let's see. Trust. Okay. Trust is a huge factor here for you right now. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Trust your angel guides. Okay, trust the process. And if there were trust issues here, that needs to be talked about, that needs to be restored. That needs to be healed. Let's grab one more healing message here for the collective, for Virgo. I love this because this for me is about self-love. Virgo, working on yourself, every aspect of your life that needs that self-healing and self-care so that you can come forward and emerge as a better version of you. All right, so next thing that I wanted to do is grab some answers to some questions that you might have at this time. I'm going to pull from this deck, the Angel Answers deck as well as my own this is my new one it's called the yes no oracle 
simple deck. All it has in here are yes and no answers. That's it. Nothing else. Yes or no. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and allow you guys the opportunity to ask your questions. Let's start with this deck. I'm going to pull maybe three or four answers. So go ahead and focus on whatever it is that you need further clarity on. It does not have to just be about your love life. It could be about anything. Okay, so this obviously is more than just a yes, no deck. So you can feel free to answer or ask whatever question you have in mind. And let's see what the answers are. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. For this love and life reading. Go ahead and say your question out loud, or you could just think about it, focus on it, concentrate on it. Let's see what the answers are. Take whichever one of these answers most resonates with your situation. Here we go. I see not the right time. There's success right there. Okay. So not the right time for some of you. You're being required to perhaps have patience and wait and by waiting, look at that, you can be successful. Look for a sign is also coming through here. Okay. And then we've got ask your angels, which you're pretty much doing through this reading. So pay attention to the signs that might be presenting itself to you the first half of June, Virgo. Signs could be anything. It could be seeing your person's name. It could be hearing a song on the radio. It could be a particular number. Whatever it is, you'll know that that is meant for you, okay? But there is this indication here for some that it's just not the right time, and it would best suit you to just give it a little bit more time and wait, okay? So let's go ahead and grab some yes, no answers to your yes, no questions. So I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards from this deck. So that will allow the collective to go ahead and ask three different questions. Simple questions where a yes, no answer would make sense. Okay, so go ahead and focus on your first question here, Virgo, and let's see what the answer is. So it's really important, once again, to ask different questions. You don't want to keep asking the same question and hoping for a different answer. That would totally defeat the purpose. All right, so here we go. Question number one for Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, please. What is the answer? What's the answer? It's yes. I hope that's a good yes, whatever question you might have asked. Okay, so I have a feeling that's a very positive yes for the majority. So go ahead and focus on your second question. Again, keep it simple so that a yes, no answer will make sense. All right, here we go. Either say it out loud or concentrate and think about it. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. Question number two for the collective we have a no. Okay, so again, for those of you that that makes sense, maybe that's why this is coming through also. It's a no because it's not the right time for now. All right, so last question, question number three for the collective for Virgo. Go ahead and ask your third question. Say it out loud, concentrate. Here we go. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. What's the answer to your third question? We have a yes. So we've got two yeses and a no coming through here. All right, so I hope that whatever questions you asked, that this gave you the clarity that you have been needing. All right, guys, so lastly, I'm going to wrap it up with this deck, another deck by Sister Moon Tarot. This is the Stay Inspired Oracle Cards. So wrapping things up here, some final guidance from your angels to inspire you this first half of June. What's the advice? What is it that your angels need to say to you? Pleasure. Pleasure is never to be shamed. It's part of living a balanced life. Find ways to cultivate it, even if it's just your imagination. 
Okay, so however way you need to incorporate pleasure into your life at this point in time. For some of you, it could be something as simple as having this fresh baked cookie. You know, we've got cookies in this photo. For some of you, it could be treating yourself to some flowers. Rather than waiting for someone to give you flowers, treat yourself. That could be something pleasurable for some of you. Of course, for others, part of that pleasure could be a sexual pleasure that you experience you know, however way you are able to experience that the first half of June. Okay, and then bottom of the deck, we do have rainbow. So maybe when you do see a rainbow, that could be a sign for some of you guys. This says you deserve positive, happy, joyful moments. Add color to your world or imagine colors in your mind filling up your body. Colors are healing. Okay, so if you have a favorite color in mind, maybe surround yourself with that particular color. It could be the color of your comforter, your pillows, your furniture, your clothing, however way you are able to incorporate those colors into your life to uplift you, to make you happy and joyful. And also, if you happen to see a rainbow, again, there could be something very special going on at that time. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope whatever part of this reading made sense for you personally, that it helps you out the first half of June. If you are interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you next time.